गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एक्सरसाइज 2.4 एक्सरसाइज 2.4 कम्स अंडर द हेडिंग फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ पॉलीनोमियल राइट नाउ वी विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.4 डिटरमाइन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉलीनोमियल्स हैज x 1 अ फैक्टर द मीनिंग ऑफ सर्म इज दैट इफ वी प्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ x ओके इन p ऑफ x एट द एंड इफ द रिमाइंडर इज 0 आफ्टर सॉल्विंग then the polynomial has x plus 1 a factor after solving in the last step if remainder is not zero then the polynomial has no factor as x plus 1 we will see the first term it is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 what is this p of x p of x right so p of x is equal to x cube plus x square plus x Plus one. It is given x plus one. So always x plus one. Okay, whether it is x plus one, x minus one, x minus five, this is always equal to zero. Why we have to find equal to zero? Because we have to find the value of x. That is why. So plus one goes on the right hand side becomes minus because this is zero. Zero minus one is minus one. I'll place this value in p of x. In p of x. What is the value of x? Minus one. It becomes p of minus one, right? X cube means minus one whole cube plus x square means minus one whole square plus x means minus one and this is one is equal to what is cube of minus one? Minus one, right? Because here the power is odd. Minus one square is plus one. This is also plus. So it becomes plus plus into minus minus and this is minus one. What is this? One is equal to this minus one plus one is zero. This minus one plus one is zero, right? So what is the answer? It is zero. So if it is zero, what I will write? Yes, yes. X plus one, right? X plus one is a factor, or even okay. If you write okay till here, okay, zero, and you write yes, still it is okay. Fine. Second sum. You understood the meaning, no? That we have to check whether x plus one is a factor. Means you have to place the value of x in the given polynomial, and you have to do the calculations like this. If remainder is zero. Then you have to say yes. X plus one, okay, is a factor. Or we can say the polynomial has x plus one a factor. Second sum now I will take, okay. I will take second sum. This sum we are doing. P of x is equal to x raised to four plus x cube. Plus x square plus x plus one. X plus one is equal to zero. It is given. X plus one. It is equal to zero. X is equal to one goes on the right hand side becomes minus one. So what is the value of x? Minus one. I will place this value in p of x. P of x means p of now minus one. P of minus one. X raised to four. I am placing okay in this. Polynomial x raised to four means minus one raised to four plus x cube means minus one cube plus x square means minus one square plus x means minus one plus one minus one raised to four it is one because if in the bracket it is a negative term and power is even number answer will be always positive. Minus one raised to four will be one. Minus one cube is minus one. Minus into plus minus. Minus one square is right one. This is minus one. This is plus one. One minus one gets cancelled. One minus one gets cancelled. What is left? One. Answer is no. Answer is no.
थर्ड बीट x रेस टू फोर प्लस थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन राइट दिस इज p ऑफ x इज इक्वल टू एक्स रेस टू फोर प्लस थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन दिस इज एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बिकॉज प्लस वन गोज ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड Now what is the value of x minus one? I'll put here in p of x. P of minus one. Wherever there is x, minus one will go instead of x. Is equal to x raised to four means minus one raised to four plus three x cube means three into minus one cube plus three x square means three into minus one square plus x means minus one plus one. Right? Minus one raised to four is what? One plus Minus one cube is minus one, right? Into three plus minus one square is one. One into three is three plus into minus minus plus one is equal to one plus plus three into minus one minus three. This is plus three minus one plus one, right? So minus three plus three gets cancelled. One minus one gets cancelled. What is left? One. What you write? No. And in front of that you can write no. X plus one is not a fact. Fourth bit. P of x is equal to x cube minus x square minus 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2. What is the value? X plus 1 is equal to 0. Means x is equal to minus 1. Place this value in p of x. It becomes p of minus 1. X cube means minus 1 whole cube. This is minus. X square means minus 1 whole square minus 2 plus root 2 as it is. X means minus 1. Plus root two. What is cube of minus one? Minus one. This is minus one square. What is square of minus one? Plus one, right? So it becomes minus and here one because square of minus one is plus one. Now actually, okay, this is into. This is into. Multiply minus one with the bracket. Multiply minus one with the bracket by taking this sign also. Because this sign is also the part of this whole term. Minus into minus plus right? two ones are two, right? Then again, this minus into minus is plus root two ones are root two, and this is plus root two is equal to minus one minus one minus two plus two plus root two plus root two is two root two. Root two plus root two is two root two because root two means it is one root two. This root two is one root two. So one root two plus one root two is two root two. Minus two plus two gets cancelled. What is left? Two root two, which is not equal to zero. So the answer is no. What will say? Therefore, x plus one is not a factor of x cube minus x square minus two plus root two x plus root two. So this is the method of the to check whether x plus one is a factor of the given polynomial. Calculations are very important. Sign goes wrong or calculation goes wrong, then the whole sum gets wrong. So please take care of calculations. Question number two. Use the factor theorem to determine whether g of x is a factor of p of x. Right? The meaning of this is okay. Again, same. I'll place this value of x okay in p of x. If remainder is zero, then only we can say g of x. Here, g of x means it is a divisor. P of x means it is dividend. Okay, but as we are using factor theorem, okay, we don't have to. Right? I will write here solution. This is g of x is equal to x plus one. 
So I will write here x plus one is equal to zero. So x is equal to what? Minus one. X is equal to minus one. Place this value in p of x. So it becomes p of minus one. Because wherever okay x will come, you have to place the value as minus one. Is equal to two x cube means two into minus one cube plus x square means minus one whole square. Minus two x means minus two into minus one, and this is minus one. Two into what is cube of minus one? Minus one. This is minus one square is plus, and this is plus. Plus into plus is plus one. Right? Understood? How you got one? Minus one square is one, and what is this sign? Plus. So this will be plus one. Minus into minus is plus. Two ones are two. You should know some basic okay rules of multiplication. That minus into minus is plus, plus into minus is minus, minus into plus is minus. So then only your answers will be correct. Otherwise no. Two into minus one, minus two, plus one, plus two, minus one is equal to zero. How zero? This minus two. And plus two gets cancelled. This plus one and minus one gets cancelled. So the answer is zero. So what I will write here? G of x is a factor of p of x. Therefore, g of x is a factor of p of x. Why g of x is a factor of p of x? Because at the end our remainder is zero. That is why. G of x is a factor of p of x. Third bit, p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. And what is g of x? X plus 2. X plus 2. So I will write here. X plus 2 is equal to 0. Because first we have to take the value of g of x only. Because from here only we get the value of x. Which we can place in p of x. So x is equal to minus two. Now I write this. I place this value in p of x. In p of x. So it becomes p of minus two, right? Because wherever x is there, minus two will go there. Plus, okay? X cube means minus two whole cube. Plus three x square means three into minus two. Square plus three x means three into minus two plus one is equal to minus two cube means minus two into minus two into minus two. You have to multiply minus two how many times? Three times. So minus two into minus two into minus two is minus eight. This is minus two square. Minus two square is plus four. Plus four. Three into four. Three into minus two is Minus six plus one. This is minus eight plus twelve. Minus six plus one. Right? What is minus eight plus twelve? Four. Minus six plus one is equal to. Right? I'll write here is equal to four minus six is minus two plus one. Is equal to minus one, so it is not equal to zero. It is not equal to zero. So what I will write here? No, g of x is not a factor of p of x. After writing no, what do you write? G of x is not a factor of p of x. Clear? Third bit, p of x is equal to x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6, and g of x is x minus 3. So what is the first step? X minus 3 is equal to 0. X is equal to 3 because minus 3 goes on the right hand side becomes plus. So it is x is equal to 3. Now I place this x is equal to 3 in p of x. P of x is x cube. Minus four x square plus x plus six. So p of three. Why three? 
wherever x will come, you have to place this value of x. x cube means 3 cube minus 4x square means 4 into 3 square plus x means 3 plus 6. What is 3 cube? 3 into 3 into 3, 27 minus 3 square is 9, right? Plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 27 minus 9 4 are 36 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to this is 27. We will add okay. Plus 3 plus 6 and this is minus 36 is equal to 27. Okay. Plus or I will write straight away okay the add addition 27 plus 3 30. 30 plus 6 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. What is the answer? Yes. But how you write in words? G of x is a, sorry, P of x is a factor of G of x. P of x is a factor of G of x. Clear? Question number 3. Find the value of k. Now here we have to find the value of k. If x minus 1 is a factor of P of x. Let's see what is the method. I will solve the first sum. Right? Solution. P of x is equal to x square plus x plus k. It is given here. x minus 1 is a factor. Means what? x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1. Minus 1 goes on the right hand side. Becomes plus 1. And now I will place this value. Okay? Here. x square plus x plus k is equal to 0. Now why to write 0? Right? Because it is said x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. Means remainder is equal to 0. Remainder is equal to 0. Again I am telling you the word is used x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. Means remainder is 0. So x is equal to 1 square plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. 1 square is 1. 1 plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. What is 1 plus 1? 2. 2 plus k is equal to 0. k is equal to 2 goes on the right hand side becomes minus 2. So here the value of k is minus 2. Have you understood what is the method? x minus 1 is a factor means x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then x is equal to 1. Place this in P of x and proceed further. You will get the value. Now we will see the second bit. Right? Second bit is P of x is equal to 2x square plus kx plus root 2. Right? I will write here. P of x is equal to 2x square plus kx plus root 2. Here it is factor. x minus 1 is equal to what? 0. So x will be 1. Because if it is minus 1, value of x is always positive. 1. Now I will place this value of x is equal to 1 here. Right? 2 into 1 square. This is what? P of 0. 2 into 1 square because 2 into x square means 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus root 2. This is 0. 1 square is 1. 2 1s are 2 plus k 1s are k plus root 2. Right? 2 will go that side becomes minus 2. This plus root 2 will go that side become minus root 2 is equal to k. k is all, already here on the right hand side. 2 goes on the left hand side becomes minus 2. Plus root 2 goes on the left hand side becomes minus root 2. So value of k. What is value of k? Minus 2 minus root 2. Right? You have to be very careful with calculations. Then only okay you will get the correct answer.
थर्ड बीट इज पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस रूट टू एक्स प्लस वन राइट आई लेट गेट सोल्यूशन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एल प्लेस इज ओके इन पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के एक्स स्क्वेर मीन्स के इन टू वन स्क्वेर माइनस रूट टू इन टू वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन प्लस वन दिस इज जीरो राइट बिकॉज एक्स माइनस वन इज अ फैक्टर मीन्स इट इज जीरो वन स्क्वेर इज वन वन इन टू के के माइनस रूट टू वन जा रूट टू प्लस वन नाउ के विल बी ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ओनली माइनस रूट टू गोज ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बिकम्स प्लस रूट टू दिस प्लस वन गोज ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बिकम्स माइनस वन सो के इज इक्वल टू वॉट रूट टू माइनस वन के इज इक्वल टू रूट टू माइनस वन सो दिस इज दर्ड बीट नाउ विल सी दी फोर्थ बीट फोर्थ बीट इज वॉट पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस के इन सोल्यूशन वॉट आई विल राइट एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन राइट सो इट बिकम्स पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के एक्स स्क्वेर मीन्स वॉट के इन टू वन स्क्वेर बिकॉज एक्स इज वन माइनस थ्री इंटू वन प्लस के इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट के इन टू वन स्क्वेर इज के माइनस थ्री वन जो थ्री प्लस के वॉट इज के प्लस के टू के राइट टू के माइनस थ्री के प्लस के इज टू के माइनस थ्री गोज ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड बिकम्स प्लस Is equal to two k. That will remain as it is because it was on the right hand side. So k is equal to three upon two. What is the value of k? Three upon two. So this is the okay way to find the value of k when x minus one is a factor of p of x.